Henry Hyena, why won't you laugh? Henry Hyena, why won't you laugh? A funny thing happened today at the zoo. Young Henry Hyena began to feel blue. Now, this kind of thing is really quite rare for hyenas always laugh without care. They laugh at the monkeys who swing from trees. They laugh at the storks and their wobbly knees. They giggle whenever a bird says chirp. They roar when they hear an elephant burp. Hyenas just laugh because that's what they do. They laugh at anyone who lives at the zoo. <laughs> but not young Henry, at least not today. His friends couldn't even get him to play. Do not disturb. He didn't join in while they teased a few bears. He chose not to help when they chased several hares. He wouldn't cut holes in the llama's new socks or knock down a lion cub's tower of blocks. No matter the prank, Henry just wouldn't laugh. It was time to seek help from a wise old giraffe. Now, as soon as a problem arose at the zoo, Dr. Long was the one who knew what to do. He gave speaking lessons to several shy parrots. He worked with a rabbit who would not eat carrots. Why, just this past week, he sat in the sun and coached a cheetah who hated to run. Dr. Long, Henry said, my giggle is gone. I can't seem to laugh. I don't know what's wrong. Like today when a goat tripped on a limb, rather than laugh, I felt sorry for him. And later, when the zebra let out a yelp, instead of chuckling, I offered to help. Oh, Dr. Long, you must think I'm a fool. I failed to laugh at a hip hiccupy mule. Henry, my boy, said the wise old giraffe, let me explain why it is you won't laugh. It's not that you are sick and you are far from a fool. You've just learned that laughing at others is cruel. I'm proud of you, Henry, so cheer up and grin. Your laugh will come out when the kind deeds begin. Henry's face brightened and his smile soon returned. Then back home he raced to explain what he had learned. His friends gather around and soon all agree that Henry Hyena was quite right indeed. So off they all went to try something new, to become the nicest ones at the zoo. They brought honey muffins to each of the bears, then joined all the lions for musical chairs. They sang with the birds and read to the boars. They helped as the monkeys completed their chores. They even jumped rope with the storks and the crocs and knitted the llamas some new pair of socks. They did all these things and saw right away being nice was really the best way to play. Young Henry joined in and smiled with delight as all of the animals joked through the night. They had so much fun and before it was through, Henry's laugh was the loudest of all at the zoo. <laughs> Henry Hyena why won't you laugh? Written by Dog Jensen.
illustrated by Jen Claude 